Hey all, so today I'm going to show you my favorite game and a couple of its incarnations. It's called Spectra. Ah, oh, yes. Let's go ahead and start. Now, I was having some trouble with the sound and I didn't realize that I should be using the wing version of it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Set up our options. Alright, this should work out. Um, so I'm going to show you guys basically the different ways you can play this game. Oh, nice, I got the textures and stuff on there. That's cool. So you're seeing it at its best right now as far as the graphics go. I'm going to be changing them just because. I want you guys to see the different, the different stuff. So you can also make them transparent too, which is obviously helpful because you can see tanks behind stuff now. So I first played this game probably when I was like eight years old on my mother's Power PC Mac. Wish I could remember the model. Um, it was one of those small ones that you'd lay, what would that be, I guess horizontally, on a desk, and uh, you know, it had floppy disks and all the rest of that good stuff. As you can see, up to the right I have a little map, and that's showing me the flags that I have to collect. So basically, it's not necessarily about taking out many enemies, it's about taking out the flaggies. It's also really cool that they changed the bitmap image that they use. Or I don't know if that's technically char character mapping or what exactly that is. But it's nice that they at least changed the stuff around. Okay, so every enemy has been eliminated. I think that's the last one. No. It's this one too. Beauty school dropout. There we go. The lack of music is a little. I don't know, it's an issue for me. But it also gave it this certain. Je ne sais quoi. A certain I don't know what about the game. It made it slightly more intense as a kid to play it without the music. I don't believe there is a music option. Probably because it's already using up all this memory with the vector and the filled versions and all that jazz. And the way you can just change that option during gameplay is really cool. Is this guy going to be the last one? Nice, that was money, son. Alright, cool. So I want to play to level 5 because in the next one I'm going to warp to level 5, the next run I do. So I just want to at least immerse myself a little bit in it. <laughs> nice, they got the American flag. That's cool. I'm sure some of this stuff is reused eventually. The bit mapping. I mean. I mean they'd have to, there's so many levels in this game. Also, later on, your weapon gets upgraded, so you actually have grenades, which are really handy because the hit points on these guys go up as you reach higher levels. And there's a triangle guy that you guys haven't seen yet. He, at first, takes two points, two hit points, so he takes two rounds. Uh, later on, I believe he takes four. And then the little red guys will take two when they normally just need one. You get the idea.
Now, of course, this is... I'm playing this on a modern machine, so obviously my hardware can deal with all these changes and stuff, but on the machines of the day, the more detail you have, the slower a program would run, which is why they give you the options of changing um, the stuff on the screen. So I'm going to change the look in a second, but I just want to play through level 6. Okay, those were the triangle guys that I was mentioning. Oh, another triangle guy. One of my tactics if I'm fighting a lot of tanks is to hang out at least relatively near a flag and or, well, especially one of those health pickups. And yeah, basically, conceivably, these levels go on forever. But let's see here, so... speedy version. Now, the strong one is kind of silly because it moves so slow, so I'm just going to do balance and speedy, but it will show you essentially the different styles that you can play this game, and that's why this game was so cool. The other thing, too, is you can play it on a LAN, which I never experienced since I was all of eight years old, and I'm pretty sure most of the adults in my life had no clue what a LAN even was. <laughs> But yeah, those were the days of dial-up and such. I couldn't imagine having this data go over a dial-up modem. I would think they probably basically had one version that would maybe take up less space when you played it with other people. Because that's just a lot, I think, even back then even in the 90s for the hardware to render. I don't know, but I'm just, you know, kind of uh, theorizing. Of course, I should be doing this differently because I'm <laughs> supposed to be rallying right now and I'm not. So next level, we will rally. Okay. I guess if you hit shift, right shift, it skips through that. I did not know that. I knew there was an ability to skip. I just didn't know how. On the Mac, you're just able to hit spacebar and just skip them. So I was playing this game along with classics like Wolfenstein, Oregon Trail, and I believe Oregon Trail, I think it's called Oregon Trail Deluxe. Huh, that's weird. There we go. Um, but it was basically a more advanced Oregon Trail, the Mac version had dialogue, and to this day, I can't find that particular version. Uh, I'm still on the hunt for it, though. Someday I will find it. I may wind up just buying it. A lot of this stuff, I'm sure you can imagine, you can just download off the series of tubes we call the intro. That's fair, just put it at the very edge of the damn map. Seriously? I did not know that. But yeah, this was a fun game I would play a lot when I was a kid. I got bored with it really quickly. Other games I would play was like Spin Doctor, which is a classic. And I hope to be able to play that soon. So I have an old iMac that runs OS 9, and I'm pretty sure it has that on it. I just got to figure out how to film it, you know? 
I may wind up just using an external device because, um, I don't know, since it's a limited machine, I don't know how well it would be able to handle screen capping. I guess I could try and find some software of the era for it. But it's one of those iMacs that was on a, on a dome. And yeah, I think that was the last thing that had OS 9. I still have it because it has OS 9. And I can natively play a lot of my favorite old Mac games. Like Dave the Tentacle, although that was also released for PC. And other LucasArts games. Yes. Alright, I should be rallying, shouldn't I? Man, this thing is no health. I don't know if that's just like, if the placement of the flags is random, or if they're screwing me over with them being on the edge more because I have a faster tank. A dance note. There we go, so that was more of a flag rally style there. Alright, cool, so... As I think you can imagine, there was another version of this, and we're going to go ahead and play that. The last time I played this, I made Windows crash. Hopefully that won't happen again. If it does, we're just going to open it all back up. Uh, I want to just go back really quick. Are there scores? Ooh, look at that. Wow. Okay. Uh, go back to those options. So as you can see, you had network options. <laughs> Serial connect, modem, phone number. Oh man, those were the days. That's for sure. Um, I want to see what the movies thing is. Do filled, and we'll have Bach play, and let's see if we don't freeze this time. Entering Cybernet. Nice. Okay. Okay. So apparently they take two. Oh no, they just take one. Ooh, that's fun. I get to jump around. That's that's very 90s. Thank you, House of Pain. Yeah, that Bach is getting a little annoying. But you can see this looks a little bit better. This actually looks more akin to the Mac version. To be honest, just graphics wise. Uh oh. Entering Cybernet. This is not good. So I'm assuming mines 